edition of my progress report. I'm going to do some switching around here. Now I got my recruit up to 106 that I can fit in the houses. See my houses are still pretty low. I'll work on them but I'm not too concerned about that yet because this gives me enough room to have the 100 recruits to fit back in to the 20 class. So, 
So if nothing else, like obviously it's the odds for a five star are the lowest. I'm gonna get mostly three stars. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Their food, or I can add them to my collection. There are several of the regular three star skins that are worth leveling up. Dupa Pippa, Vic Victoria, for example. Um, for events and that sort of thing. So, and the rest will be food, which I'm fine with as well because I will get some 4 and 5 stars out of here. So the odds are supposed to be about 1 in 30-ish to get a 5 star, but that doesn't... everybody's different, every account's different, but that by no means is a guarantee. That though are better odds than the summon gate. Oops, I did it again. Wrong way. That's much better odds than the summon gate. The summon gate's like one in basically a hundred if you're lucky as well. So, and I don't have too many four stars built that I've got yet. I've got some green ones just because I did a ten pull on green because I was getting desperate for green there in the beginning. And um, so any other four stars that comes out so I'll likely be keeping quite a few of them. Some of them are worth having two of leveled up. I'd level up two Aikos for sure. I don't even have one Aiko yet in this account, so hopefully she'll pop out a PS20 here at some point. Oh, I'm crying out loud. You can't keep it straight, that's where I want to go here. <laughs> exactly something my head doing off. Just so dozy sometimes. Oh, I only got seven more days in here. I might have to buff this up with a few... A few recruits from PS13 there. So I got 16 already built up. Right on. Well, you know, if I could get to 30, that would be pretty cool because then I could kind of hopefully... I'll just let it run until all 30 are done and then... Uh, then maybe do a video on that and see if I actually am within the odds and get one 5 star. Alright, so that's built up a little bit more now. And my VIP ended, so I am back to free to play. All right, I need to get rid of some food here. Uh, what takes food? This takes quite a bit of food. I like, I really like using these advanced antidotes on the war machine, so I'll build 10 of these and give myself a bit more room for food. Perfect. I was worried over nothing when it come to food. I guess it's just because there's a quite a bit of difference. There's like 40k difference between TS13 and TS20 for food. Like it's 297k here and it's like 240 or 50 or something. I don't know. Um, so I thought I was going to be short to keep getting them switched over. No, I don't want that deal. Sorry, free to play. There's still 55 days. Okay, so I won't do them all, but you guys get the idea. I am going to switch them all over, but I just, I don't need to record all that, so. 
this gives you guys some ideas of how to arrange your camps though and uh, I'll easily get up to 30 probably more actually in this camp and uh, let me go bulk this up a little bit more oh still got 344 shirts okay that's fantastic good good I am happy about that all right so I don't have two builders anymore so I'm working on iron storage now because so 1970 was what you got when all 18 all of them are at 18 so all five of them are at 18 you got 1970 which was enough to do your headquarters 20. well that is not enough to do weaponsmith level 10. so it's 2068 so i left my iron storages for a really long time because i never needed to go up any further with them until now so i was hoping to do back to back uh, upgrading on this to do go from eight to nine and then nine right to ten but i spent all my iron on nine and i went yeah i don't think that's gonna give me enough to do level 10 once it's done sure enough it didn't so I'm going up with my iron storages right now so once they're over the 2068 needed for weaponsmith I will quit doing them again and this will be at 20 when I'm done this one so I did two levels on this one and I'm at 2002 I might have to this might be a couple weeks before I can get weaponsmith 10 by the time I get the iron storage up far enough and so that gives me 24k extra and uh, 32k extra so two more of these maybe should do it which will be a couple days each and then to get to weaponsmith level 10 I think it's another seven days so maybe by my next progress report I might have weaponsmith level 10 uh, done but I won't have it researched that's for sure because I believe research is a week as well so that's something to keep in mind I've uh, gotten away with just letting them sit at 18 for quite a while but I won't be able to do that anymore um, they'll also introduce more advanced buildings so you'll end up with like an advanced food storage which you'll have a convert option to convert it into advanced food storage because a small giant's gonna release more building options at some point they're gonna release some sort of an iteration of a hero academy and likely some sort of iteration of a alchemy lab where you can transfer your plethora of materials that you get into something different so I might be able to convert some ear protectors into something different or my crafting stuff you get plenty of vials that you don't need you'll be able to to transfer your vials into something different and it'll take food likely and uh, a bunch of the materials and then you can transfer it into something different like it'll this one star crafting item will transfer into some of these two star crafting items and the two star crafting items can be transferred into the three star crafting items so it does make sense for me to finish my iron storage because at some point those advanced buildings will be here and they'll be probably an advanced option for a foundry as well so one or two of your foundries can produce a lot more iron at once to keep up with the advanced storages and they'll likely be an advanced metal storage as well so to keep up with those higher buildings so yeah that's something to keep in mind uh, like you do want to max everything at some point except for your crafting because these can convert back if I had a free builder they could convert back to a 
or workshop if I needed it to, but I only leveled them to level five because that's all you need to to get the convert option. And we certainly don't need four of these, honestly. But I don't have a free builder, so. But yeah, you can convert buildings back to its previous state if needed, as long as you have a free builder, so. Yeah, so that's something to keep in mind for the future for sure. And we don't have a uh, war machine to hit. Or I'd go hit the war machine, but we do have Raiders of the Wasteland on. So again, I am uh, making sure that I do at least one in each. And I've completed rare, which is good. 1429. Where does that put me for rewards? Probably the bottom. Oh, oh, hey, well, that's cool. I'll stay in that range because I'm not going to get booted out of down below 3,000 at this point when there's only three less than three hours left. Oh, so that's, those are cool rewards. So yeah, this time I went a little bit further. The, the last couple times in Epic and Legendary, I only did like a stage, but now there's more people competing because there are more players and there are more of them getting leveled up so I am going a little bit further to see if I can get more loot but if you're try your best to complete at least the first stage in epic and the first stage in legendary because if nothing else you'll get your free ticket here which gives you some free food so I got um, some teams built well I'll be able to go a little bit farther I won't complete them though by any means. I mean, I could probably get quite a ways down in Epic, but by no means will I get much further in Legendary. One board maybe. <laughs> but that's cool. I'll stay in this range and get these rewards. So it is. it definitely is worth your time to try and do a few boards in Epic and Legendary. If you're just starting out, you likely won't get through the first stage of legendary but try to get as far as you can because you'll still get points for what you did do which could put you in a ranking like this to get over to get over the just the plain summon ticket and to actually haul, haul down some other loot considering I've only done three boards and I'm in 2494th place that's pretty darn good I've done three boards, so I might get two more done, but it, it gets awfully tough awfully quick. So definitely spend some time doing a few boards if you can. If you can do more than one, fantastic, because if nothing else, you're getting some free loot from it. And by the next time Raiders of the Wasteland rolls around in three months, because we have three challenge events, you're probably going to find that you will complete Epic no problem and then the la the next time it rolls around you'll probably get Legendary done and you'll be able to get the tier rewards for completing. So I definitely am not going to get the completion rewards but that's okay. I did get them on Rare so I'm happy with that. So yeah it is worth the time to make sure you complete those boards. So. All right, guys, I think that's it for now. I uh, am going to go back to my base here and switch over more of these camps so I can get a TS-11 running out of here. This will really help, too. Uh, two TS-11s plus my shirt training at the moment here because I've needed a faster flow of um, feeders, but... I had TS 11 going here, 13 going here, which is, takes a couple days, right? And then, so I wasn't getting as many feeders. I was only relying on slow training here and then, and then a bit faster two hour training here to get most of my feeders because I was waiting for this to get done. So having Having a flow of feeders that is, oh, twice as much, three times as much as I was getting feeders will really help bulk up some of my teams now quicker. So 
I am very, very happy about this. Finally got this done, finally got it opened up, and we can switch everything around to the way I want them, and I just went the wrong way again. Because, <laughs> you know, why not? I'm still dozy. Apparently I need some caffeine. Yeah, so that'll really help me bulk up some of my teams because I still need to get Rex done for my main team. I still need to get Hollow Point done, but I've left those two for a little bit now because I wanted to build up some depth underneath. So now I can get to some of the other ones now that I have feeders flowing in better that I haven't been able to touch yet. So that'll be really cool. And then I'll get hopefully a four star red from legendary at some point. And I might be able to, who knows, power level it by the time I get one. All right, folks. Well, that's it for an update for me for this week. And uh, yeah, any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments. And uh, I will see you all on War Wednesday, if not before. Stay safe, everyone. Have a great day.